In the most prestigious universities, the greatest minds have debated one question. What is man's greatest invention? Is it the slap chop? Is it the shake weight? Or is it the Ronco set it and forget it rotisserie oven? Oh, what? It's, it's fire? I guess we can paint that today. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are painting fire. We are adding it to the Space Marine Librarian. Now whether you're a Sisters of Battle player, a Salamanders player, or a Chaos player, it doesn't matter. If you just want to add some fire to your models, this method is for you. Follow me and I'll show you guys how it's done. Okay, we're going to start off by doing a base coat of Averland Sunset. The paint is thin one to one water to paint ratio and it'll take about three thin coats. I primed the mini black as it's the most common color people use, but lighter primers will work even better and result in you doing less coats. And this is what it should look like after you do about three thin coats. Next up, we're going to start blocking in the colors of our flame, starting with Flash Gets Yellow. Go ahead and coat the lower quarter of the flame with two to three coats of one to one thinned Flash Gets Yellow. With our Flash Gets Yellow down, it's time to block in some orange. Grab some Fire Dragon Bright thinned one to one and give the middle of the flame two to three thin coats. Don't worry if the paint overlaps with the yellow, it's all going to get blended together in later steps. Now we're going to start moving to more red tones. For this, we're going to use Wild Rider Red. Again, thinned one to one, and we're going to move further up the flame and just hit the top quarter. Now for more of a pure red, we'll use some Evil Sun Scarlet to hit nearly the very ends of the flame. We're also going to go ahead and hit this little nub, because remember the further the flame gets away from the source, the cooler it's going to get. Lastly, we're going to block in some corn red at the very tips of the flame. Some people go further and take the flames all the way up to black to simulate smoke, which you can totally do, but for shorter flames like this one, I usually don't do it. Now that all of our colors are blocked in, we're going to go ahead and blend them together using glazing. If you're unfamiliar with the process, it's essentially done by watering down the paint even more than normal and painting with many thin coats. Go ahead and add water to your paints that you've already put on your palette, taking them to a four parts water to one part paint ratio. Now that our paints are thinned way down, we're going to get our orange, wick off the excess moisture onto a paper towel and start glazing it downwards, overlapping halfway onto the yellow. You're going to notice that the orange barely tints the yellow, and that's fine. This is done over many layers. Now these thin coats do take some time to dry, so instead of waiting for the orange to dry, we're going to move up and glaze the red down to the orange. And again, while that red is drying, we're going to go ahead and get our darker red and glaze that down from dark red to light red. With those first coats dry, now we're going to take our yellow and glaze it up to the orange. All we're really doing is just blending these colors and making a smooth gradient between the two. These coats are so thin that this is really hard to mess up and you can just kind of keep going at it until they blend. 
and you'll just keep following this in the opposite direction, blending the orange to the red, the red to the darker red, and so on. Okay, and this is what it looks like so far, but we still need to add some depth to the fire. To add depth to your fire, some people might think to add a wash, but while that will add depth, it won't look right. This is because the brightest parts of fire comes from within, so therefore the recesses should actually be brighter. So go ahead, grab your flash kits that we've watered down, and brighten up those recesses of the flame. The next step is optional, but it does add some brightness to the bottom of the flame. Grab some white ink and mix it with your flash kits. You'll then apply it to the bottom most recesses closest to the source of your flame. White ink works a lot better than paint because it's thin and it's super pigmented. Okay, and the only thing left to do is to clean up the metal around the fire. And here it is all finished up. Hopefully this video helps you in your endeavors to fire up your troops. All the paints I used will be listed below in the description, along with our Instagram if you want to see other things we're working on. If this video helped you in any way, please hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, thank you for your time, and take care.